Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're using the great Divi theme and we're going to talk about section dividers. Divi comes as standard with section dividers, you can sort of decorate your different sections. But you can also create some great little animated hover effects with them. We've got a section here with some hover effects in there. As you can see when I put my mouse over it, we've got the dividers in the background animating. And the section below, we've got a color change and a different animation going on. And you can make them real dramatic and you can make them really subtle. It's entirely up to you. But these dividers are great things for little attention grabbers on your site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go back up and enable the visual builder. And let's go on down to a section with no decoration. OK, well, we've got a section here, the little blue tab. And if you go in there, a little cog to get in there, go over to the design and that's where you'll find your dividers. Open it up and it'll give the opportunity of putting one on the top, one on the bottom. Select whichever one or both you want to work on first. And there's all kind of different dividers here that you can use. Let's use this one. As you can see, it's plopped it in there at the top and you can change the, the main color, the primary color there. To whatever you want. I usually tend to have something that will match the background. If you go down a bit, you can choose the height, make it bigger or smaller. You can decide whether it repeats horizontally, that will give you more sort of up and downs, diamond effect there going on. You can flip it around the other way if you want to, you won't see anything on that one or you can flip it vertically the other way. You can have it underneath section content or if you want to create some crazy effects you can put it on top of the section content. As you can see it's sort of blurring that out. But if I was to go back up and take the opacity away from that color a little bit, you'd still see those through it. But personally, usually I like to have it underneath. Now, once you're happy with the top one, you can go down and do a similar thing on the bottom. Just hit the bottom tab, select whatever divider you want. Go down to the bottom of the section. There it is right there. Choose whatever color you want and you can actually match it to whatever the section below is if you need to. I've got a sort of light gray going on so if I select the black color there, bring it up, we can probably match it to that gray right there. There we go, just like that. But not only can you have them static like this, you can create some effect by changing the actual height of them on different devices. Let's go back up to our top one here. And I'm going to put the height back down to fairly small. Something like that. In fact, I'm going to change that to a percentage. I'm going to say 10%. I just put the 10 in and typed a percentage sign after it. And it's going to be 10% of the actual section itself. Hover common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll find these little icons here. If there's an arrow, it'll give the opportunity of setting a desktop state, which is when your mouse is not on it, and a hover state, which is when your mouse is actually on it. So when we're not hovering on it, it's 10%. Let's make it say 100%. And again, I'm just typing in 100 with the percentage sign. As you can see, that's now stretching 100% of the section there, the depth. And you can have some great effects by having these overlap. So we could go to the, the bottom one, 
and we could do a similar thing divide height let's start it off similar 10% it doesn't have to be the same I'm just doing it at convenience and when it ends on the hover again we'll hover over hit the little arrow there check the hover state I'm gonna say let's say 80% this time as you can see those are crisscrossing there creating a nice little effect now the default time to have this happen is 300 milliseconds with the Divi theme and if you want to speed it up or slow it down for a bit of drama you can do so in the advanced tab transitions slide this up if it doesn't go far enough for you you can just type in your value right here there we go and I'm going to use ease in and ease out so it'll sort of ease back up when you take your mouse off of it another little thing that you can do to this to add even more interest or add more confusion <laughs> depending on how much you do it this is kind of an extreme version right here but it just gives you the idea if we go to content at the moment we've actually got no background so if we put a white background in there we won't see any difference but again we can hover over the dark legending pull up the little arrow and for the hover state we can change the color um, just for fun let's make it a sort of pale purple so I'm gonna make it purple but I'm gonna bring the opacity down a bit so it's slightly more pale and make sure for the regular state it's white still as you can see that's fading out when we hover on it it's going to do this grow change color when we fade out it's going to do that and I've got it to four seconds that's why it's taking so long there kind of dramatic but you can get some wonderful effects you can be real subtle and do a few things or you can go crazy like we've done here so let's save this and take a look at what we've got save the page changes save draft and let's exit the visual builder okay well there's my top one that you've seen before if we roll on down we've got this other one I've got a five second delay on this with the colors changing in the background nothing on this little section right here and here's the section we've just built coming into view so when I hover over it it's gonna grow change color and expand just like that when I take my mouse off of it it's gonna ease back out again and there's some nice little effects to have on your site really easy to do no coding involved all done with the inbuilt Divi theme itself so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesigntechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day